Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we will learn how to export MySQL table data into CSV file in CodeIgniter. Data exporting and importing is a required function of any web application, and CSV file format is very for popular for data exchange in web application. We have already make tutorial on, how import CSV file data in CodeIgniter, but now we have learn how export data into CSV file. If you have make any enterprise level application, then in that application, their large amount of data, then CSV file is best file format for export data, because it is lightweight than other type of spreadsheet file. Now let's start discussing this topic, this is our testing database, in which we have one student table with table column like, student ID, student name, student phone number and image. We will first display this table data on web page, after this we will export in CSV file format using CodeIgniter. This is our CodeIgniter working folder, first we have go to application folder, and under this we have go to config folder, and open autoload.php file. Under this first we have to define some autoload library, so during code execution we do want to load library again and again. For this in dollar auto load libraries variable, we have defined database and session library, so when first time code igniter application run it will load it, so we do not want load this library again. After this we want to define base URL of the system, so we have open config.php file, and here in $config base URL variable, we have defined base URL of this application. Now we want to make database connection, so we have go to database.php, and in this we have set host name to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After making database connection, now we are proceed for coding, so here we have already make three file like export CSV controller under controller folder, export CSV model under model folder, and export CSV under view folder. Now we have open export CSV controller file, and here we have write public function construct method, this method will be execute when new object of this class has been created. Under this, first we have write parent class construct method, so when object of this class been created, then parent class, construct method code will be executed. After this we have write dollar this with load object with model method, under this we have write export csv model, this method will load export csv model. Now we have make index function, this is root method of this class, so when in browser, we have type base url slash export csv, then this method of code will execute. Under this method, first we have write dollar data variable with student data index is equal to, dollar this with export csv model, with fetch data method, this method will return student data, which has been store under dollar data variable. Now we have go to, export csv model file, and here we have make fetch data function, 
This function will fetch data from student table. Under this function, we have write dollar this with database object with select method with table column like student name, student phone. This method will make select query like select student name, student phone. Below this, we have write dollar this with database object with from method under this we have write student table name this method will make query like select student name student phone from student table now we have write return statement with dollar this with database object with get method this method will execute query and return query execution data which an output of this function now we have go to export csv controller file index method and here we have write dollar this with load object with view method under this we have write export csv view file name and dollar data variable it will load this export csv view file as an html output on web page and student data will be fetched from this dollar data variable now we have go to export csv view file and on this file first we have write form tag with method is equal to post action is equal to base url slash export csv slash export so when form has been submitted then it will execute export method of export csv controller for submit form data we have write input type is equal to submit name is equal to export and value is equal to export to csv so when we have click on this button then form has been submitted to export method of export csv class now we want to first display student data so here we have make one table with two table column like student name and student phone after this we have write for each loop and under condition we have write dollar student data with result array method as dollar row variable this result array method will return data in array format under this loop we have write echo statement in first table column we want to display student name so here we have write dollar row student name variable and in second column we want to display student phone details so here we have write dollar row student phone variable this code will display student details on web page friends here we have enter base url slash export csv controller name then on web page we can see student data on web page in table format when we have click on export button then we can see page has been redirect to export method of export csv controller so now we have go to export csv controller and here we have make export function this method will received export data request under this function first we have write dollar file name variable is equal to student details on with date function dot csv it will make dynamic file name below this function we have write header method and under this we have write content description double colon file transfer 
here we have defined content description. After this, again we have write, header method, and under this we have write content disposition, set to attachment, and file name is equal to dollar file name variable, here we have define, header content disposition details. Lastly, in header we want to define content type, so here we have write header function, and under this we have write content type set to, application slash csv, here we have defined csv content type. After set all header information, now we have write dollar student data variable is equal to, dollar this with export csv model with fetch data method here we have used same method for get student data now we want to create file so we have write dollar file variable is equal to file open function with argument like php output stream with write this function will create file for write data Below this, we have write header function, is equal to array, with table column name like student name, and student phone, we will use this array for print first line heading in CSV file. After this we have write, file put CSV function with two argument like, dollar file variable, and dollar header variable, this function will write data in open CSV file, that means it will print first line in CSV file from this, dollar header variable. For print student data, here we have write for each loop, and under condition we have write dollar student data variable, with result array method as, dollar key variable, with dollar value variable. Here this result array method, will convert query execution result into array format, and by using for each loop, it will fetch data from array. Under this loop, we have write file put csv function with two argument like, open file like dollar file variable, and data like dollar value variable, on every interval, it will write data under the CSV file. Once all data has been written under CSV file, now we want to close file, so we have write file close function with dollar file variable, this function will close open file. Lastly we want to exit from code, so here we have write exit statement, it will exit from code, and mysql data has been written under csv file, it will download in computer, now we have check output in browser. Friends first we have refresh web page, after refresh of web page, we can see student data in table format on web page, for export data in CSV file, here we can see button, when we have click on button, data will be exported in CSV file. So, now we want to export data, so we have click on export button, after click on button, on web page we can see CSV file has been downloaded in our computer, now we have open file for check, MYSQL data properly exported or not. So, here we can see that, MYSQL data has been properly exported in CSV file, so here our code is working, how to export MYSQL data in CSV file using CodeIgniter. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, 
please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.